Welcome to the University of Cape Town's Faculty of Health Sciences, FHS. You can find us at UCT's observatory campus next to Grotesker Hospital. The first people to occupy this area, the San, lived on the slopes of the mountain below Devil's Peak. I'm super proud to know that I'm standing at the top rated health sciences faculty on the continent and that this is the oldest medical school established in 1912 in sub-Saharan Africa. Behind me is the Vernabate building, which is the oldest building on campus, built in 1928. In front of me is the Barnard Fuller building, and this is where you'll find the faculty student administration office. And you can also go here to get more information and more help regarding your courses, registration, as well as any financial and emotional support that you should require. Let's have a look around. I'm standing at the Barnard Fuller building and to my left is the entrance to the main health sciences campus. And this is where we'll also find the offices of the deanery. This is the faculty courtyard where you can find students hanging around. There's a large plane tree behind me, as you can see, with some seating space around it. This is also where you'll find students hanging around in between classes, enjoying some snacks and of course soaking up the sun. Hmm, why am I suddenly hungry? Let's go to the cafeteria just behind me. Follow me. So this is my favorite area. This is a space where staff and students can come and eat, chill, and even catch up on some work. The food at Food & Connect just behind me is amazing because it is varied from sandwiches and coffee to hot dishes and sweet treats. Now I love this wall to my right here. It has a beautiful mural with photos of struggle heroes such as Hamilton Nagy, chosen by students some years ago. There's also a lovely courtyard just outside if you'd like to enjoy your lunch at a table outside with a little bit more privacy. We are still in the cafeteria and to my left there is a glass lift and an elevator. All UCT's campuses are equipped with ramps and elevators as well as services to assist those with disabilities. Now let's go and have a look at some of the other amazing spaces that the campus has to offer. Follow me. I am now standing at the faculty's Sutherland 9 Garden of Remembrance. This garden is important to the faculty and the wider UCT community. It is important because it is a space of healing and reflection. It acknowledges the pain of hurtful FHS practices of our past. This garden is important because it also reinforces the importance of health professionals and scientists to be ethical in their work. Now, let's go to the IDM. Follow me. I'm standing at one of the very first buildings to be built in 1928. This is where you'll find the prestigious Institute of Infectious Diseases and Molecular Medicine, also known as IDM. The anatomy building in the far distance right over there is home to the Department of Human Biology. This is where you'll learn about the human body as well as go through the dissection of cadavers. Now, cadavers are specifically preserved bodies that have been donated to UCT for research and teaching. Here you'll also find undergraduate computer labs, the new lecture theatre, which holds about 280 people, might I add, as well as tutorial rooms. Now, let's go and see what else the campus has to offer. Let's go. And now you can finally get a better view of the IDM complex. The glass building behind me connects two of the oldest buildings built in 1928. In this complex is where you'll find the offices and laboratories of researchers and postgraduate students that are studying infectious diseases and molecular medicine. Inside, you'll also find lecture theatres, the postgraduate restaurant and some co-working spaces. And just above us, there's beautiful Devil's Peak, part of the World Heritage Table Mountain Range. UCT's campuses are really giving us those awesome Cape Town feels and we love it. Let's go inside and check out a bit more. Follow me. We are now inside the IDM, also known as the Institute of Infectious Diseases and Molecular Medicine. Yes, I know it's a mouthful, but you'll get used to saying it. 
Now, this is the area that you see as we enter the building. And this is such a great space because it allows postgraduates to hang around in between classes. They also get to enjoy their lunch at the Food and Connect cafeteria just over here, as well as meet in their research groups at these hot desks. Now, just up the stairs is the restricted access area. This is because it houses laboratories where high risk research is done on infectious diseases such as TB and HIV. And these are big health problems in South Africa. Let's go check it out. We are now where much of the laboratory research action happens and I'm surrounded by high-tech labs where blood samples are stored in extremely cold temperatures up to minus 180 degrees Celsius for analyzing. Unfortunately, we cannot enter these high-tech labs due to contamination risks, but we can of course have a look. Did you know that UCT has their very own mortuary? Yes, this is where I'm standing right now. It is located in the same building as the Pathology Learning Center on the Health Sciences campus. This is where postmortems are done. Let's go and have a look around. Another interesting fact is that UCT has their own body donor program where anyone can donate their body for educational purposes. Now this makes a vital and enormous contribution to the teaching of anatomy to both undergraduate and postgraduate students, including science students, as well as those in health professional programs. Bequests may also be made to teach and train professionals such as surgeons in new techniques. Let's go check out some more. Follow me. Now I love coming to the Pathology Learning Center because they store and preserve over 5,000 specimens. They also have copies that are available digitally. Not many universities have such a varied collection. Follow me and let's have a look. Look at this amazing piggyback heart used by pioneer and transplant professional Christian Barnard during his early experimentation. Some of these specimens even date back to 1920, like this one. I think I'm going to leave you guys alone. Let me go check out some more. The Department of Pathology focuses on understanding the mechanisms, diagnosis, prevention, as well as the treatment of diseases. These specimens allow students to see firsthand what these diseases do to human organs. Its genetic division is over 50 years old and is part of really exciting research that is bringing great advancements in health. Stick around and let's check out more of this amazing tour. I'm standing on the other side of the Health Sciences campus on Anzio Road. Just across the street is Khrutiskia Hospital. This is where some of our departments that work directly with patients are based. Students are able to also come here to attend classes and also get clinical training. Just above me, you can see the link bridge that connects the UCT Health Sciences campus to the Khrutiskia Hospital. Follow me. Welcome to the famous Trotus Gear Hospital. I'm standing in what we refer to as Hospital Street. Now this is a very beautiful main thoroughfare that allows staff, patients, students, and even visitors to move through different floors and departments. Now the departments that work directly with patients are based in the building of this hospital. This includes anesthesia, surgery, medicine, radiation medicine, psychiatry, mental health, as well as the health and rehabilitation sciences department. This department includes physiotherapy as well as occupational therapy. There's also lecture theaters right behind me where larger classes are held. 
we are now at the Clinical Skills Lab at the old main building in Khrutuskia Hospital. As you can see, simulation training is currently in progress. Now this is where students get to learn and they also get to practice their skills on specifically crafted and computerized human-like dummies. Simulation training is also further used for the training of qualified professionals such as doctors, nurses, midwives, paramedics, as well as health and rehabilitation sciences professionals. Now let's see if I can learn a thing or two from these amazing students. Guys, what's happening? CPR, okay, yes. and we're winning. Yeah. You guys yeah. are winning. Okay, let's head over to this side. Is he alive? Oh, we're checking, checking the pulse. We're checking the pulse. Yeah, the pulse. Amazing, and my last group, let's see. What do we have here? What's our case? Checking for pulse. Okay, all of them are, we're checking for pulse everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> you must have a pulse. Okay, this is amazing. Lovely, you guys are doing so well. They all definitely are alive and breathing. <laughs> Just across the way is the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, also known as OBS and Gyne. Now this is the department where students learn about women's health and they also get to assist pregnant mums. This department trains medical students in obstetrics and gynecology from their third year to the sixth year of the curriculum, as well as those in the health and rehabilitation sciences programs. Now, what about this fun fact? The OBS and Gyne is the oldest such department in the country. How amazing is that? Established in 1920. The Neuroscience Institute is housed next to the new Khrutuskia building in Anzio Road. This is a shared facility between Khrutuskia Hospital and UCT and also provides both clinical and academic spaces for activities on the nervous system and the brain. It is a space that was designed for innovation in neuroscience. And believe me when I tell you, this is a space that is really beautiful. I could hang out here all day. I hope this virtual tour has whet your appetite to learn a little bit more about UCT's Faculty of Health Sciences and of course for more information you can visit our website and remember to check out the other UCT virtual tours to learn a bit more about the exciting facilities and communal spaces that you can get access to at Africa's highest ranked university.